media, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day one of five days of Easter projects. And today's project is a very simple one. It's a six by six box, which opens at the top. There's no stamping involved with this one, a little, some die cutting, and that's it. I'm using the paper from the Rain or Shine suite of Pro products which is uh, featured on pages 50 and 51 of the Stamping Up Mini catalogue. The paper that I used to cut this little cute dot guy out from is one of this one. So the dies in this suite will cut these images here out. Aren't they gorgeous? That's the other side of the paper which is Flutie Flamingo. I love this. If you don't have these dies, I highly recommend them. You can fussy cut them, um, but I mean they're so much easier. So let me show you how I made it, or let me open it up first and show you what's inside. I've used Starry Sky paper, and the reason I used the Starry Sky cardstock, I should say, is because the treat that's inside coordinates with that colour. So it opens up at the top like this, and it is a little Cadbury Marvellous Bunny creation. <laughs> so I wanted paper that matched, you know, not exactly, but in the similar tones. So let's get together and get to make it. So this is a piece of 6x6 six six, uh, Starry Star Sky uh, cardstock. It, as I said, it measures 6x6. Six six. Uh, bring in your um, Simply Scored scoring tool or your trimmer using the scoring blade on it. Bring that in and on one side score at 1 inch two and a half inches, three and a half inches, and five. Let's turn it round and score at one and five. I've put the um, dimensions listed below in the description bar. Use your bone folder to score all those. When you find your bone folder, So give each of those um, score lines a really good burnish. Right. Okay, so with um, the paper facing you with all of those smaller score lines down, the squares down the bottom and up the top, the first one you're going to do, it doesn't matter which end you do, just cut away that tab there. And that end, oops, okay, and that one. Alright, so just that one, leave that one like that. Now for all the rest of them, just cut and do a little wedge. Don't cut them away. All right, so you're just cutting away that one tab at each end, I should say. Right, flip that around, do the same up here. Just doing that little bit of wedging will just help it close up a little bit more easily. So this is going to fold together. This piece here, the smaller one, is going to have the tape on it and we're going to fold over that way so that you can't see that piece. So the piece that you've cut away the tabs, pop some tear and tape down, or whatever, it, whatever adhesive you prefer. For this particular box, I do prefer to use my tear and tape. that over and burnish there you go and that's that will become now the back of the box so fold up the bottom pieces apply some tape oops it's over there <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of tear and tape on the, this one Okay, 
and you can use any um, tape that you prefer. And just a little bit across there. And that's the bottom of the box done. The back is where that seam is. And it will close up like that. Alright, so before we do that, I've gone ahead and cut out from the tailored tag dies using the designer series paper that matches this um, cardstock. So that's a piece of the Starry Sky designer series paper. And I've cut one of the smaller um, tags. All right. Grab in your chosen ribbon. I'm using the Organda ribbon. Is that what it's called? White Organda ribbon, sparkly. Um, because it brings out, I think it brings out the little bits of colour that's in here. I think it just adds a little bit to it. So I'm just going to measure a little bit of that. So see how much we're going to need. Make a nice bow. That should be enough. And before I, I'm just going to thread it through here, back of my tag. Okay. You can put a different, um, a, a narrower ribbon through if you like. I was going to use pull part, the pull part is sheer, but... It will just go like that. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, liquid glue on the top here, a little bit here, 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 and here. So it's just so that the ribbon will go down the middle of it. it won't touch the ribbon, but it'll keep it in place. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So we just pop that in there like that. Probably an easy way to do this but it's just to give a little bit of another bit of color here for the the box so I'm just holding that down until the um, adhesive sticks Should be okay. Oops, a bit more. Pop your treat inside. Fits perfectly. Fits absolutely perfectly. Fold it over and then you can do your ribbon. And because you, we didn't, um, because we didn't uh, attach the ribbon, like put any glue on the ribbon, adhesive on the ribbon, I can just bring it down a little bit so I've got enough to tie off. So by doing it that way, when the, when the person who's receiving the gift opens it up, they don't have to lose all the ribbon. It'll all stay intact from the front. Just your little bow. And there you have it. It's pretty easy to make. It's actually really easy to make. Um, trim off that. And our little uh, die cut that I've already gone ahead and die cut. It's cute, right? I think it's so cute. And he just goes on. Just goes on there, like that. Easy. That's the one we just made before. Tie that one up. And there you have it. Cute little, um, cute little uh, six by six gift, top opening gift box to pop in your little Easter treats. Uh, I hope you pop back tomorrow and see what I have in store for you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.